Howdy folks, I've got a multi-tool here today and it's called a door, door trip. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a jumper, it's a flashlight, it's a USB for charging phones or running laptops or something. It's also uh, a compressor to fill the tires with air. So it's kind of a multi-function, multi-tool system. So today, I want to thank the gang over at Adore for sending this over to us so we can take a look at it. it uh, I would say let's do the open box, but you know what? I already opened the box. I actually had to open it because I had to charge this up. It's very heavy. Oh, yeah. That was the number one thing, but it has some really cool features. Uh, there's a control package back here with a little power button, and you can hit that, and it'll show you it's 100% fully charged up. And the charging port comes with two different charge systems. It comes with a 110 charger, it comes with a 12-volt charger. It also, of course, comes with the usual typical uh, batteries. I really like this idea. I have done this myself over the years, but it's great when you have two different lengths so the two don't you know, clash together and you end up with sparking or something or damage the uh, device. They, they manage to make sure the length is different between the two cables. So you can uh, jump start the car, but you also have uh, a little hose kit here which allows you to use the compressor side of this. And uh, wow, digital gauge zero, zero. Wow, we don't have any air in the tires right now. <laughs> yeah. It's also 2,500 amp rated, so they say. That will crank up most cars, oh yeah. And it, so it it's also has two different uh, light beams back here. So let's check the light beam, so. And you can also set the amount of, uh, now how do you turn the lights on? Boy, there's a question. Usually they have something here where you can, uh, oh, there we go. And you got two bright LED lights. That, uh, so we got two bright LED lights. You have a really nice digital readout that you can preset the amount of uh, PSI or pressure or milli, is that millibars? What is that? No, it's not millibars. It's that bar thing for air pressure, uh, metric or something. The, uh, you can set it for 29, 30 pounds for your air or whatever and fill up the tires. You know, if you have a slow leak or something, this baby would help get you home. But it also has, of course, the uh, jumper uh, system. And between the two different types of charging, you could take it on the road or road trip with you. And as long as you, you know, run this, charge it up, make sure it's fully charged, keep it in the back of the car somewhere, or run the little wall wart with you and you can charge, you know, charge it up. Now, we're gonna have to shut these lights off. I'm just gonna see if we can do that. I think, yeah, yeah, just hold the power button over here. There's two power buttons. There's one over here to check the charge amount and also turn the lights on and off. Then there's a main switch here. Now this one here is gonna turn the compressor on and off. It's fairly noisy, but a compressor is a compressor. Yeah, you're not really gonna get away from that. And the hose is right here to be dispensed off the back, which is tucked in really nicely to the kit. So you can pull it out like this and then lay it down flat, hook the rest of your hose up, and you can fill a tire. So let's see, shall we f go fill a tire? Uh, yeah, let's, uh, before I forget, uh, there are other, here they are. There's also some small accessories for the air compressor, so you can use it like a blower, uh, so you could, you have other comp you know functions to do with the com air compressor, and then you've got this nice little carrying case bag you can put everything in, and uh, I don't know if you'd want to you know <clears throat> be like that, but uh, you can uh, put it all in here storage here, <clears throat> and uh, put that in the back of the car someplace, and you have a, a nice kit for the uh, usual problems that we all seem to face with cars. Uh, low tire pressure or battery problem, you know, two of the most common problems we probably all have at times. You know, we get caught sometimes with it. So, really nice kit. And I'm going to give you a nice link, of course. You knew that. I'm going to give you a link for the uh, item here, description. I think we, hopefully, we have some kind of sale price or discount deal on it. And there it is again, there's the, uh, it comes with a nice little manual so that you can go through the uh, features and explains everything as to how to use it. Plus it shows you, you know, motorcycles, boats, cars, trucks, RVs, uh, the list goes on and on, doesn't it? Yeah, for uh, ATVs, uh, yeah, uh, there's just a long list of uh, things that, you know, are handy to have something like this around. And they had sent this in and I said, okay, we'll take a look at it, we'll review it and we'll show it. 
I guess we need to start up the old Jeep or something and just see how the Jeep do, does with this one because the Jeep is always uh, the battery in the Jeep is flat and dead. <laughs> always. <laughs> so let's see what we, what we can do here. All right. So now, first thing we've got to do is figure out how to hook this up. There should be a plug here somewhere on it. Where is the device for the plug? Hello. Oh, here we go. I'm looking right at it. Well, first off, I'm going to put the compressor back away. Put the compressor line back in. It has a nice little holding uh, clips here. And also, I've noticed, and I'm not sure how you would do it. I guess there's a way to do it. It looks like the, you can probably even fold this into here. I don't think I would bother with that. Most people probably wouldn't. But you also have the two USBs which means you can run a, run a cell phone or charge a cell phone up or something off of this device when you, if you're carrying it with you. You can stop on the side of the road, charge the phone up if that's need be. You know, there's other things, of course, that it can do. So, what a great little item. It's, it's, kind of, it's a multi-tool sort of function. And just as it uh, says, you know, a door trip. Cool. Weird name, but yeah, okay. Jump starter, built-in air compressor, flashlight, a little bit of everything. All right. Let's go and start up the Jeep. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna do this as quickly as possible because the weatherman says 0% chance of rain today. So it's, uh, it's raining and spitting on me out here. So I've got you and me under the carport a little bit so we don't get wet. I'm gonna slap this thing on the Jeep and we'll see if we can crank up. Okay. Here we go. I gotta pull you in right away, but yeah, that cranked up. That actually, that did better than I think anything I've had in here. I thought the Gulu was pretty good, but uh, this one here, I don't know if you heard that, the motor spun over really rapidly. So yeah, definitely a good item. Let's do, uh, let's do a tire. Okay, it's raining so hard, I'm gonna have to cancel this part. Uh, we're not gonna do the tire, but I, the compressor works. I can hear it work, so it's fine. It's good, all good. Yeah, <laughs> zero percent chance of rain. Can we fire the weather, man? I don't know. I had to get in here real quick and get up underneath the roof. Line. Now, uh, so the next thing we're gonna do, I want to check the uh, USB ports on this guy, and I just so happen to have a USB LED light. This is one of the ones that I use for studio lighting around here, anyways. But uh, we'll plug it into the USB. And let's see, okay, nothing. And I hit that button, now it's on, so. Oh yeah, yeah, that's working, so that's cool. So it would be a, <clears throat> it would be two, so let's try the other one. I've got that one, which I just shut off. Now I'll plug into the other USB and see what happens there. Bink, yep, there it goes. It's on, so you have two USB uh, connectors on the side here. And again, like I said, those ports could be used for anything where you're charging something using a USB. So that's pretty cool. And we're still at 100% charge, by the way, even though we uh, charged the Jeep and, uh, or charged, we started the Jeep and uh, got that going. Okay, I'll unplug that. I'll unplug the batteries, the uh, booster cables. Unplug the booster cables. And of course, the other thing was the compressor. And I'm going to assume that's working pretty good because I can feel the air gushing out of there pretty quick. So it might take a little bit of time to fill a tire with air because that's typical of you know this size of unit. But in general, the uh, tire situation is just it's just an extra thing to have that's handy. And you've got units here, so you can change the units, uh, whether it be the kilopascals or the uh, pounds pressure, <laughs> USA pounds, you know. And you've got negative and positive, so you can set a limit on how much air pressure before it cuts off so it doesn't overfill a, a, a tire for, per se. So it's a, it's a really nice little unit. And there you go. We've reviewed it, we tested it. It looks like a pretty good item. So I'm mean, gonna, like I said, give you a link. And guys, girls, uh, we're gonna call this one a wet day. This is a mess out here. It's 
it's raining. Uh, it's not supposed to be raining today. We had zero. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so the it also lights up when it uh, indicates there. Now this side indicator, which is 100%, as you can see, and that's after uh, running a couple of different light tests and also jumping the Jeep. So I would say overall that uh, it's a little heavy, but it's a pretty good little unit. And you know yourself what's coming up in the future in the next few weeks or something, so we'll probably be doing some kind of draw. Yeah. But in the meantime, uh, hey, thanks for watching Coffee and Tools. This is Matt. This is Maniac Monday or Matt. Memorial Monday is what it is. So yeah, that's a. Uh, it's kind of important uh, for a lot of us. So that's it's a special day for a lot of people. And uh, so happy Memorial Day and uh, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Over and out. I'm out of here.